Okay, so this is really exciting for me. This is one of those kind of tricky situations, doesn't naturally happen within Squarespace, kind of one of those problems we have to dive into and find um, solutions, which is one of the things I love about being a Squarespace expert because um, we get to dive in on the back end and kind of piece things together. So this solution actually comes from one of my clients, Hap Gay, who runs this website. Yeah, and he and I worked on this website and a previous website and another website together. So he loves getting in on the back end of Squarespace and kind of puzzling things and figuring things out as well. And he came up with a great solution for doing um, online silent auctions. So those of you, if you're watching this video, you probably know how a silent auction works, but basically, typically, you would go to, for instance, a location and you would be having a silent auction and maybe you would write in, I want this picture or something like that. And you would write in your name and the bid and then you would circle back around later and check and see who was outbid you and then update your bid as necessary, which is fantastic. It's a pretty, I mean, it's a, uh, I know that there are all obviously other ways that you can do it. There's plenty of technology out there, but that's the way that a lot of like the churches and organizations in our area do that more manually, which is great. But what if you want to include people that can't quite make it to the event? and you want to make it a bigger um, a bigger piece and you don't necessarily have the funding to pay for a an actual auction program or an actual uh, auction software. So this is a great solution. It works really well. Um, basically what HAP did was we went in and we created, first of all, we created our page with our auction items. So that's going to be your first step. You're going to want to determine what auction items you have and then figure out how you want to create the page. Each auction item is going to have its own form because that's how we're going to gather the information. So you need to think about if you want to have like an image of the item, um, a description of it, but then we want to have some place to collect information on a form. So if you have a lot of items that you're putting in, you may want to have one auction landing page with all of the items, but then maybe you have a link for each one that would have its own form. So you don't clog up the entire page, or you would simply just create a custom form for each one, but make sure that you go into design for that form and you would then lightbox it so that there would just be a button there rather than having an entire big form for each and every item. So in this case, we basically went through and we found our auction, we made an auction page, whoops, I need to find it up here. Um, and here's our auction homepage. It basically has, we decided to use a drop down um, menu. So it has a drop down saying what each of the items are. And then, and this is pretty straightforward because it's golf. So obviously if you have something that's maybe more of a painting or, or different items, then you would probably want to have a picture with it. Each of these items are going to, because there are so many um, items, rather than having the forms displayed here on the page, these actually link out. If you see over here on the left-hand side, each one of them has its own page, as I mentioned. Each page has its form on it. Um, and also on the form will say, um, that you can you can either have it redirect to look at the the embed that I'm going to show you. We'll talk about this in a little bit, but this is basically keeping track of the live bids. Or if you decide, so basically I have my auction items here. These are going to click to link out to those other pages where I have the form to fill it out and where I have the um, the embedded uh, live feed of what the bids are. The other option, if you don't want to do this route, would be to have an item underneath that have a button that says um, to submit your bid, and that would be the form button. And that form button would actually be just a form block that you would light box so that it would then pop open on the page that could fill out the form. Underneath that form button, you would have a C updated um, auction bids if you wanted to do it that way. So kind of, again, a little bit of a puzzle piece just depends on what works best for your um, actual needs, but this is working really well for what they're looking to do. So then you have these in here, we have the forms. When we go to this actual form, this form then is set to go to a Google Drive. The Google Drive then is gathering all that information. So when you're on Squarespace and you complete a form and you have it connected to a Google Drive, that Google Drive will get this completed form information in real time on the Google Drive. You can then log into Google and get the embed data for that form. So that's basically what um, HAP has done on this page is we have the form here and then below it, this is just an embed um, block that he has used and he embedded that exact form that goes with this 
I'm sorry, this sheet that goes with this form. So when someone comes in to fill out this form with their bid, they can also see who else has been bidding. So they can see what the current bid is. I like the way that HAP has done this really well to basically having each one of them have their own page because then we have the um, auction form that people can fill out and the live bid embed on the same page. So it's very easy for me as an end user to come in and look at this and say, um, oh, this is what the current bid is. And so I'm going to outbid them. I'm going to put in $225 or something like that. Um, so this would be kind of the preferred way to go. The other option would be to put all of your items on one page um, and have every single item just have the little form right there and then redirect them to another page where they could see all of the auction bids. So you could have all of these embeds with what the current bids are on another page. Either way would be totally fine. Um, so if you decided to do it this way, what we would need then is when someone actually wins the bid. So let's say that the, the it's going to be ending by tonight um, at midnight. So tonight at midnight, we would shut these pages down, disable them, and then we would go in tomorrow to see who the winning bid was, you could then send them an email. This is the way that we've chosen to do it, is to send them an email saying, congratulations, you are the winner on the foursome from Fremont Golf Club. Um, you are going to be um, needing to pay now. And so then the payment would be on this type of a page. We just used a donation payment. Um, button. So we're going to be putting some verbiage up here at the top above it that kind of says, congratulations, you're the winner. Please complete the button below um, to make your payment for this auction item. So this link is what's going to be emailed out to people to this auction payment page. When they come here, they'll see the opening verbiage. They click on payment. This is actually a donation block. So they can enter in their email here, continue, put in the amount. So let's say I bought it for $450. So I'll add that in there. And then they enter in all of their credit card information. When they hit continue, there's actually additional information that's gonna be gathered. So I'm not going to, I'll show you what that looks like on the back end really quickly. So basically what we have done is in this um, auction payment button, we have gone into the donations area. We have set up our amounts rather than having set amounts. We deleted the ones that we didn't want and just left it as open because we want the people to go in and put in their correct amount that they bid. Um, we have changed this button text to payment, but we'll probably lengthen that and make it a little bit more specific. Uh, then you can obviously put in a title and description if you'd like to, but the most important part was to do this add form fields. So we're actually having them put in a little bit more information so that we can gather as much information as we possibly can when they submit their payment so that we have that. All of this information, since we're using the donation button, is going to be funneled through. It'll go directly to our um, PayPal account or Stripe account, whatever accounts we have um, set up on our co commerce side within the back end of Squarespace. But it's also going to be in the commerce section. We're going to have a whole list of all of our clients in our customers area. It's going to show all of those donors, all of the donations that have come through, and we'll be able to see exactly what they paid, um, what date it was, and then that way we can cross-reference it. So maybe there might be an opportunity that, unfortunately, we may have to come back to someone and say, oh, you only put in 25, but you actually bid 250. So we need to um, have you go back and add another $225 or something like that because the mistakes do happen. But it's just a really simple, easy way to do it. Like I said, if you wanted to do where there was, this is the option where if we had, and rather than having individual pages for each item, if we wanted to have just one auction tracking page, this is what that would look like. It's just a series of different blocks in here. So when someone is on their the auction homepage, if they wanted to see a bid for the item, rather than clicking in, they would actually be able to just go to that auction um, tracking page. So that's kind of the, the difference there is that you could have an, a full on auction monitor tracking page with all of them on there, or you could have individual pages. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, we can definitely hop on a Zoom together and I can help you work out your um, unique solution for your um, auction that you're having coming up or any other Squarespace issue that you have. But again, a special thanks to Hat for um, kind of getting super nerdy and figuring this whole thing out and offering us all solutions for when we encounter this type of an issue. Have a great day.